Greetings everyone, the good tonight here. I haven't done any videos in a while, but I've been more or less busy with two two things. First one is this fun book that teaches Japanese kids to use English profanity. Very important. And the second one is this book, which is basically a bunch of Japanese with the Pop Team Epic characters, which many of you may or may not know. Now, what's interesting is that once you know a good deal of Japanese already, reading the books on teaching English kids profanity is, well, mostly just funny, and if you have Japanese friends, then what better way to become an English teacher? Alright, you can go out in town, bring those books with you, and be like, yeah, I'll teach you some English, and you like show them this book, and you're like, okay, look through these few sentences of how to properly use profanity, ask me any questions, Marine Corps, expert, I can tell you anything you need to know. And then this book, which you know Japanese, uses pretty simple Japanese and a bunch of really, really, really unique humor that, I mean, if you get it and you like it, then hey, I find it fantastic. So, yeah, good stuff. So, if you've basically been wondering what I've been doing, reading through those two books, and then lots of work, and then uh, playing with gear, moving gear. Well, the gear hasn't been moved too much. I need to do a gear review video, because I've really lightened everything out. But, yeah, some these grenades and magazines. I moved the uh, magazines here to uh, remove the flaps and put in little bungees. Move this main bungee here down so you can do your quick speed reloads. And they're out of the way. And if you do pull a mag and then this one starts to wobble, then you can just go, oh, problem solved. Can't run away now. And then if you're going through mags and you're like, oh, I'm gonna need it soon, you pop that open, you pop, 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 pop. Okay, damn, I'm out. Mags. So as you can see, this is a pretty effective setup if you want to carry six mags in one space and not waste any other time or effort. Initially, the uh, modular salt pack back here has been mini-mapped by running the back flaps through the lower front flaps and then pulling it in and cinching it together so it goes while it pops in and then back out. So, break your fingers. You get the idea, but as you let mini-maps it and it keeps it from rubbing against the grenade belt so I can now carry full grenades. Now, the handgun debate has still continued on and off, but basically running without a handgun makes life easier because I've got the grenade launching shotgun. And the dump pouch is back here, so it's more or less out of the way of all but like two or three grenades. So I can still carry nine and the other ones if need be. And with the dump pouch out of the way, you just drop mags when you need to move somewhere, you can pick them up, put them back in, keep going. More importantly, the most important part for a dump pouch is you can fill it with hand grenades instead of carrying them in little individual pouches so you can be going pop pop okay we need to breach this room reach back here reach between your magazines grab grenade pull pin and everything pin and stuff back because you'll need it later because they're soft and grenade away so cool stuff and yeah that's more or less it everything else is just extras in the assault pack the grenades on the belt and yeah so IFAC for more realistic needs and to tourniquets in case we're getting more realistic needs. These things do absolutely nothing on the airsoft world, but IRL, most of your injuries are going to either be a shot in the hand or into the shoulders or somewhere not covered by armor or anything more fatal. So if you do get shot, which sucks, but if you're lucky and it's not fatal or off the plate or something, you've got your IFAC ready to keep you from, well, dying. So, and yeah, other than that, mags, objectively the most important part of your airsoft gun, then ammo for your secondary. If you could, I was debating adding the handgun, I've been back and forth about this like 10,000 times now, but the problem with the handgun is added weight, and I'm practically never going to use it, because if we come over here, and we look at the beauty that is RSR-16, We've really got everything we need. We've got our dot sight, because when you're wearing the mesh mask and everything, you don't want to get in the way if you're shooting. And trying to line up iron sights is a pain that way, so this way, you've got your dot sight, and you can see, and you've got your lens protector. You've got your obnoxiously bright strobe light for night games or entering a building. So the thing that, don't, that people don't usually think about is, like, oh, I need a light and a flashlight for nighttime. No. You go into a dark building in the middle of the day, you're outside, even with, if you got shades on, you're protecting your eyes from the sun, but you're still adjusted to outside light. So you go inside with shades or, you know, just your normal goggles, 
and your eyes are used to a brighter setting, so now everything's dark. So your options, either go in blind, terrible idea, or go in, and before your eyes can even adjust, you just flashlight the hell out of everything. And now they're blind, you can see, and you can shoot away. And then, of course, grenade launcher. The grenade launcher being particularly the most important part, because we can grab a grenade from back here, pop this open, load, and boom. So, the grenade launcher and the light do add a bit of weight to it, but we've been trying to streamline the light and everything, so if we need to climb anything, we could always move the rifle out of the way, off to the side here. We could climb a ladder, do all of our stuff. If we need to do running, we could always move it to our back, like so, reach around here, and boom, out of the way. We can run, we can dash, we can do all these fantastic things. Of course, you can shoot right-armed-handed, you can swap over left-handed. Being able to transition, especially with the two-point sling, is a lot of people, something a lot of people don't think about. So you need to be able to shoot around this corner and be like, oh, people are trying to come over on that corner. Pop, grenade launcher. Get it dealt with. So, this is basically what I've concluded I'll run with until my, at least until my G3 combat shirt gets in. And with the sling moved back towards the middle piece here, Still easy to access mags and everything, access grenade launcher, access flashlight. Sling's out of the way, and sling is also long enough to easily left hand transition, even with the sling still run in around the left arm, although there's a bit of choking hazard, so generally you're going to want to drop your arm out first and then go into your shooting, so. Options, 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 but all without the addition of a handgun, and although handguns are nice, don't get me wrong, I'm just never going to use it, because if I go into a room and there's close quarters combat going on, I'm just going to do this almost 9 times out of 10, get the grenade launcher ready, the grenade launcher will solve the problems, it's not going to miss, and it's loud and people aren't going to want to deal with you after that. Important thing though, have a teammate, have juice box, or your equivalent to juice box, the Botowski to your packy, have them coming with you, so that you're doing shooting, if you shoot the grenade, you have to pop a few other people if you just happen to run out of ammo. You've got someone there, take a knee, they give you covering fire, while you swap out, reload, and get back in. So, this video is kind of all over the place, but I've also been recently all over the place. So, you know, lots of stuff going on. I mostly just wanted to pose with the rifle, be a cool kid. Be like, uh, I got mags, mags and grenades. Gun that uses mags and grenade launcher. So, yeah, that's. More or less the extent of everything I really want to talk about. I'll put this down. The alternative that I have yet to run is the shotgun. <clears throat> I also got my hydro or headgear on, but you get the idea. So, shotgun. Oh, in addition, if you put the little clip down here on the uh, forward move dump pouch, you can keep your gloves down there, out of the way. Access to two large pockets. I think the most important thing is just not having stuff on your legs. A lot of people, I mean, I particularly, if I'm going to be running a holster, the drop leg's easier because it's out of the way of the IFAC and easy to draw. But again, it's another strap around your leg. I lose access to pockets. And I like my pockets. I also like my legs uninhibited. So you can run. Good stuff. Jump. Move around. Fight. Don't fight. Don't fight in airsoft. Don't fight in airsoft. Save that for uh, something else entirely. Either like a dojo or boxing gym or something. Speaking of, this is a boxing gym. Just up the road I need to go check out. So, it's a fun bit of story. I guess we can get into it real quick. Ugh. I've got two things here. These are actually, this one's a bit newer, but I don't really, I don't really particularly like to talk about it, but if you guys like martial arts, then I gotta emphasize, do it, because if you go a long time without it, you'll miss it, and it's fun, so. Yeah, karate. Karate was fun, but you know stuff. And boxing. Well, I guess I could go over boxing. Boxing's not as taboo, but yeah, I did a bit of really, really light boxing while I still enlisted, which is out training one day. Busted my hand training for boxing, but not doing particularly hard boxing training. It was out on a run. Yeah, there's uh, safety issues on base that weren't addressed at the time. And it was easier to sweep it under the rug than be like, hey, someone probably should have put out a cone that said, hey, there's grease or oil leaking onto the sidewalk. Don't run on there. So, of course, I busted my hand. 
I go into the hospital, I have surgery, come out of surgery, driving back, go past the spot where I broke my hand in a car, look out, oh look, cones. So, good times. Anyway, boxing's fun, and MMA is fun. I think a lot of the reasons, there's people who either get into it and they want to be the absolute best, undefeatable, I'm greater than everyone else, or they kind of get into the, hey, I like hitting a bag, I like hitting targets, I like moving around and having fun, so. Generally taking the airsoft way, is how I'd put it. Hitting a heavy bag is great, it's a lot of fun. Sparring is fun, a lot of people don't like getting their face beat up, but when you're sparring, your general goal is to get the hits in without hurting the guy, just getting enough force, so they're like, hey, face, face, chest. You're not trying to just <laughs> drop the guy, so. Stuff that's just generally lost in, lost in translation. I'm not gonna get too much into martial arts right now, because, eh, but. It's fun though, I do highly recommend it, especially if you're doing yourself on one end to build up your close quarters shooting and all that fun stuff, it's great. It can, it can help you in the real world, a lot of people neglect the close quarters shooting, although you're mostly going to be doing long, quarter, long distance shooting at like 500 meters, 300 meters, that's sort of a deal, but being able to move quick and shoot in close quarters is fun too, so. And then martial arts kind of gives you another fun outlet to have fun with. Especially on days when it's raining and no one wants to play airsoft but you because your gear is all waterproof and most people aren't. And they're just like, yeah, my, my gear will get muddy, so. Alright, we're well, going to determine this is just going to be a rant video. But yeah, you guys, airsoft is fun, boxing is fun, martial arts are fun. And you can learn all sorts of cool stuff that can help you in the way. Uh, yeah, this Blake here is kind of, got to get better shape. I've been doing all the... 20 pull-ups and everything a day, but I am, I am not for running. I don't mean like, oh no, here comes the enemy running away. I mean like, I need to get the cardio and stamina going because I've been slacking. But yeah, a few upgrades to gear. Life is generally good. You know, for how cheap this six mag pouch was on eBay, I like it more than like everything else I've used, so. I think we're around like 12 minutes. 12 minutes of my aimless rambling and you're not clicking on another video or reading through a book or scrolling through your phone as I usually do. Uh, yeah, so good stuff, good books, and good gear. I'll get a full review on all the equipment at some point, helmet and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna, gonna start getting ready for work. So, cheers everyone. Hope you enjoyed this sort of one-off video. I'll get some real videos going here in the near future, and I will see you soon. Stay chivalrous, everybody. Cheers.